Rather than take responsibility, Giuliani tried to blame the victims, telling the 9-11 Commission that firefighters heard their evacuation orders, but disobeyed them. Their willingness, the way I describe it, to stand their ground. I find that despicable. My son was a Marine. If he had heard the order to evacuate, which he did not because the radios weren't working, if he had heard the order to evacuate, he would have evacuated. I tried to get on radio to transmit to the chief. This is very important stuff. I couldn't get out. I couldn't call anybody that could hear me. Nobody responded. A 1994 report confirmed the radios didn't work. And May the city comptroller found that proper testing procedures were never followed and that competitive bidding standards were circumvented with a no-bid contract. At 9.32 a.m. on September 11, Chief Callan ordered all FDNY members in the North Tower to the lobby. He repeated the command, but not a single company answered. At 9.59, the South Tower collapsed. Now, while all police officers left the building, 121 firefighters never made it out. As I say, you know asbestos was in there, it's in those buildings, lead is in those buildings, there are the, the VOCs. However, the concentrations are such that they don't pose a health hazard. We heard the public assurances the days after September 11th. The assurances, for example, on September 13th, in an EPA press release that the air quality is, quote, unlikely to cause significant health effects, and that the EPA is greatly relieved to have learned there appears to be no significant levels of asbestos, asbestos dust in the air in New York City. We're going to make sure everybody's safe. We heard the EPA say on September 16th, air asbestos levels, quote, cause us no concern. September 18th, I, the EPA administrator, am glad to reassure the people of New York and Washington, D.C., that their air is safe to breathe. Those quotes were unambiguous, they were reassuring, and they were dead wrong. But we also know they were wrong because the EPA knew they were wrong at the time you, Madam Governor, stated them. At the point that those decisions were made, those statements were made, 25% of all the dust samples taken by the EPA had already shown to have unsafe levels of asbestos. It looks very honestly like what it is, an unseemly attempt to rewrite the public record, to rewrite it in a way that effectively covers one person's responsibility and moves it to somewhere else. Make no mistake, this is a national responsibility. This was an attack on us, but now is the time for us to start taking care of the health of the people who believed what we said.